New Jersey is home to some of America's most influential and time-tested musicians, most of whom have played here at the Stone Pony. One group is marking a musical milestone this year, 35 years of the Smithereens. I will stand up, I will fall. Please don't wait for me to call. I would like to say I'm sorry, but I won't. 35 years of unapologetic rock and roll. The Smithereens were formed in New Jersey in 1980, have put out 14 albums, scored several hit singles, and are one of rock's most enduring bands. I sat down with lead singer Pat Denizio in the very house where the Smithereens began. From the very first time we, um, we sat down to play together, in the basement of my parents' home right here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, it, it sounded a lot like it sounds today. Three of the Smithereens' four original members are still in the group. Denizio and childhood friends from Carteret, lead guitarist Jim Babjik and drummer Dennis Dyken. And I think the fact that there was that love and friendship and camaraderie that predated the formation of the band. We've been able to survive all these years. You know, we always put the welfare of the band ahead of any individual concern. You would like to be your friend, and I've got to find a way to let you know I'm not like that. The group's first major album, Especially For You, released in 1986, established its alt-rock status. I remember going into the record shop to see our first album come out, and all of a sudden there was this new category called Alternative, and I had never heard of it before. And all of a sudden we were alternative to, I guess, Michael Jackson, Madonna. Denizio believes it's the group's personal lyrics and its heavy guitar that make them stand out. You write songs that first and foremost speak to your, speak to your own heart. You know, you, you, your songs and your lyrics are an expression of your inner life and what you see around you and hopefully the other members of the band react to them. When you look back on those early videos and photos, what do you think? It's like a take no prisoners kind of attitude where if you like it, fine. If you don't, see it. You know, and that's what I see in those early pictures. You know, it's a lot of fun. I see us as we were then. We're still the same, but with all the changes that, that life brings, you know. They credit three and a half decades of longevity to the audience and to each other. I think the key to staying together is that we like doing this, really. It, like with anything in life, if you like doing it, you, you keep doing it. And um, the, the, the other part of it is that people still like to come out and see us. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of uh, the fact that we never really did compromise. We designed records that were meant to sound as good today as when we recorded them 30 years ago. She was tall and cool and witchy. She dressed as black as gold. It makes me happy, you know, that we, we had some sort of uh, meaning in anyone's life. I mean, that's a major achievement, that the music meant something and still means something. Sometimes I feel it I dream of her behind the wall of sleep.